YouTube. J Thomas1310, thanks for joining me. Just been out riding around and had <laughs> many funny morons all caught up. I haven't had a filming at that time. So I did just stop and check everything and then didn't turn it on because I didn't intend on going home, but decided I would loop out a bit. And as you can see at the moment, you get dickheads like this pacing the whole way, doing the same bloody speed limit and under the speed limit, they're doing 40 in the 60 zone. And then as soon as you go to be able to get around, the bastards will speed back up. It is absolutely ridiculous. So how they cause accidents. Just absolute morons. And then when you, you know, they still sit on the same speed, you go to get around them and the fuckers will speed up. Been so many lately when I've been out, you know, just heading to work, getting back home. You know, There's absolute fuckwits everywhere. You know, I did try and hold off and ride the bike around Christmas time. You know, from, from after Christmas anyway, because of the amount of idiots that you do contend with. So it's just increased traffic around here. You know, it's a little bit slower in the mornings and afternoons as you don't have the school traffic and the school holidays. Which is good, it's a bit quicker to get to and from work you know, instead of you know, 15 20 minutes, it's usually five or ten, so you can coon pretty quick, but you're still getting the same freaking problems. You've got two lanes and people sit side by side doing 40 in the 60 zone, and then you'll still end up getting there bloody late as if you had an extra couple of thousand cars on the bloody road in between. It's just absolutely ridiculous. And not one of them will you know, move over and let you through, and then you try and squeeze in and you know, you're risking yourself just to bloody get in, especially on the bike, but you know, just no one has any idea lately when I've been out and about. You know, I've always praised the region, you know, everyone's quite motorcycle aware, but you know, just of late they aren't. You know, I've seen it when I've been pasturing in the car. When you see another motorbike, you know, I'm always checking them out. And then you just see them, you know, they are having close calls, it's just so stupid. you tend to find around those times everyone else just does not think you know, to be aware of motorbikes at that time just because they're in a rush and panicking and or if it's just general time and then you just notice it coincidentally more often than not yeah just lately you know absolutely everyone hasn't been using their indicators correctly using it so it's been a lot more than than usual so everyone just seems to be unanimous fuckwit at the same thing at the same time <laughs> so wherever it happens worldwide but sure fuck it happens locally around here but you now we've even had times where fuckwits are gone on the bloody facebook and then put out a fake warning saying that cops were sitting at a roundabout booking people for not indicating right to go straight through on a roundabout. And if you're going straight through, so you take your second exit, it's just your standard four, four point roundabout, you don't indicate to go straight, you go into the roundabout, then you indicate left to exit the roundabout. Now they had this moron put on Facebook saying that you have to indicate right and that he was sitting there at this joint at the edge of town booking everyone. So then everyone started panicking and it's like no that's not right went straight onto our road and transport authority website grabbed the fucking road rules and here it is you go straight through and indicate left so you know absolute idiots but ever since then the amount of people that fucking were doing it especially at the time was phenomenal everyone was indicating right and it's just causing absolute havoc on the roundabouts as you'd be approaching a roundabout and then all you'd, you'd see a car coming and if they're going straight they wouldn't have the indicator on so you know you can enter to go straight through or left or you know turn right whatever it's you know fine and safe to go because they're not going to come across but now you'd be seeing with the right indicator so you think oh, okay i'll stop at the roundabout because they're going to turn right no nope, they go straight through and fuck it still happens and it's been probably i don't know six years since then and there's still pricks bloody doing it and you see this fucking stupid bloody posts resurface every so often. It's like, I don't know why people would even do this. 
you know, it's, it's a major troll. <laughs> Absolute major. Still pisses people off today, but you know, it's just fucking dangerous. So it pisses me off every time I see it. We get the thing a lot, um, you know, with people from other states that don't have as many roundabouts or don't have them much at all in where they live and they come in here and it's absolute chaos <laughs> when they get to a bloody roundabout you know they're fucking doing the exact same thing or you know, they just don't use any indicators at all you know I'm pretty bad on the bike you know, when I'm exiting it I tend to not usually indicate out but that's because I'm going that fucking fast through it, it doesn't doesn't warrant it it's not going to indicate to anyone where I'm going so I'm going to go that quick through anyway and then really you know it's a safety hazard you know moving your hands around on the the bars that's another thing I like to you know advocate you know if a cop pulls you up on your motorbike and you're just a slight speed over you know argue them mate it's that dangerous to have people panicking about what speed they're doing that you're constantly glancing at the fucking speedo you know, every time you glance down there shit happens up here so you need to be looking here you know, go by the feel glance every now and then when you know it's safe but no you don't don't be scared that you're going to be caught speeding so that you're constantly looking at the speedo so I've noticed you know, from when I was growing up and being a, a pea plater so for those that aren't in Australia uh, being a pea plater is you, when you're 16 years old you can go for your car license so what that is it's your, your learner's permit so your L plates so with that you have to have a full licensed driver in the passenger seat with you and then it's with the motorbike at the time it was 16 nine months I could go for mine on the bike and then you could actually just go out on your own in some states you still had to have a licensed person following you in a car or a motorbike which is fucking stupid because what are they going to do if you're about to hit a get a truck they don't do shit if they sit next to you in the car at least they can reach over and grab the steering wheel but that's you know, it's just another stupid thing that you know, politicians and authorities fucking think of but that topic for another time but what happens is once you're on your L's in your car you had them for a, for 12 months so at 17 you could go for your P's and then that's your provisional license you could finally ride by yourself but you are speed restricted to at the time was 80 I think it was actually no learners was 80 and then it was 90 for your P's and then you went on to your next stage P's the year after which was your greens so your first ones were your reds and then you could do an extra 10 kilometers an hour and then you could also drive a manual if you only had an automatic license as depending on the car you went for your test in that also restricted it but with it, what it was for the bikes, for me anyway, at 17 I could go for my first piece. And so I'd only been on the road on my bike for three months, went and got my full piece. And then it was either six or 12 months later I was able to get my full license. So it's, you, know, you can be you know, much quicker for your full license in your, on your bike at that stage in your, in your car. It's a lot different now. I'm not sure about it, but you've got to do riding courses and everything, which is probably a good idea anyway for new riders. You now it was fine for me. I learned to ride dirt bikes, and then you know, it was a trail bike, so I registered it and rode on the road with it. So at least I knew how to operate a bike, where these courses, at least now, if you don't know how to ride a bike, you can actually go, hey, fuck it, I'm going to go get a bike and get a license. Where before you had to know someone to be able to go and learn how to ride it. Otherwise, you'd just be getting a license, buying a bike, not know how to ride the thing, and that's pretty risky. So, you know, that's at least one good thing. But anyway, to the point of the, the pea platers, you know, back then we were absolute fucking crazy hoons, especially in our rural town. You know, I did notice a difference when I moved up here. You know, I was not long off, off peas. But, you know, coming up to this area from moving rural Australia over to the coast, you know, this pea platers weren't as, as hoony. So, you know, what's, what's happened a fair bit is, you know, all the pea platers drive really slow around here. You know, I used to, every time you see pea platers, they'd just be flying off quick and you know, doing a skiddy here or whatnot. You don't see it around here. It's really strange. You know, they drive ridiculously slow, you know, worse than an old bloke. And then they're causing fucking accidents because of how slow they're going. 
and being so bloody cautious you know they sit in a fucking intersection for ages won't pull out the engines that worried they're going to get booked so, you know the penalties for them now you know the cops just picking on something solid so you know having the tougher rules you know all the accidents and things you know just seem to increase and whatnot even despite safety increasing and you know, a little bit more awareness but what it is the offenses and whatnot is actually increasing so the, the tougher the laws the more pricks are bloody concerned worried that they're going to get ticketed so they're driving too cautious which is fucking more dangerous than I usually driving like an idiot I mean if everyone was driving like an idiot and going quicker it'd be actually probably a bit safer you know you take the autobahn in Germany you know, everyone's going quite quick and the, the accident rates much lower than those that are all confined on a stretch of road at 80 so go figure well, that's my views on it anyway it's probably not what a lot of people think you know a lot of motors you know big car races you know, we've got Mark Scaife in Australia he's a big advocate for trying to increase the national speed limit you know it's that old you know, it's made you know it's still the same speed limits for old roads in cars that didn't have seat belts and airbags and you know big heavy steel clunkers where now we've got all these give you safe cars and barely any old things on the road yeah, these speed limits still apply. Absolutely stupid. So let's hope this dickhead doesn't fucking wander out. Two lane roundabout to be able to help traffic flow, but people come out and go wide every time on that. Absolutely stupid. Well, at least we didn't get any slow fuckwits out on that back road. Sounds good to haven't been out in a out of town area for a little bit getting in the country areas I've done a little I think bits of that road that I just took on a country video is not sure which one but it's one of them anyway and hopefully be able to get out and get a, a few more good ones especially now I've got the GoPro session get a few different shots you know, a lot of you love seeing the, the countryside around here so it is a great spot absolutely magic now we've got bush to beach within you know, 40 minutes so it's great so guys thanks for watching if you're riding out there stay safe and be sure to keep the rubber side down